What's up guys? Decided to do an actual Euro Truck video. I've only put up one so far and it was when Skylar, my friend and I, or Cypher if I mean, were playing online together and he was trying to jump one of the ramps at a dealership to get over a fence and was very unsuccessful at it, but I've been thinking about doing an actual video where I'm actually playing the game and I decided to go ahead and do it. I have a lot of hours, like over 260 hours in this game, so I'm going to do a video. Uh, I picked a short one. A uh, short route, but I'll start off with my truck here. This is my Peterbilt 389. That's what I'm currently driving. I like it. I got all these lights on it and stuff. All over the front. I got them all over the back, including some... Let me see, bring it up. Including my bright-ass reverse lights. So, yeah. That's my truck. I like it. The turning radius is, you know, that a semi truck but that's what you expect and it's worth it so I get this trailer here we are hauling 16 tons of tableware I'm only going 63 miles uh, this truck I have a cat engine in it 840 horsepower at 3300 foot pounds of torque 18 speed transmission. So we can haul anything anywhere. And I got some mods, some really heavy, heavy mods. Like some of them are like 70 tons. Those are pretty fun. But I wanted to start with something normal. This would be just to kind of gauge any interest in more of these. I don't know if there will be. If there is, I'll do more. Because like I say, I play this game a lot. If not, then I won't do that many. One thing about this mod is the navigation screen in the truck. Like if I hit the button to turn off my beacon light up top, and it just goes to like the home menu on the GPS screen. So you have to have the beacon light on if you want the truck GPS to work, which is kind of strange.
it's got so much power, I don't really need to go lower than that. Which is pretty nice. A lot less shifting in here. Look how close we are. 22 miles. Nice little drive. all the trucks in the game to Peterbilt. I don't know why. It's not a huge deal. It is kind of weird though. But yeah, I'm not sure why that happened. stuff with this truck depending on where you have to drop stuff off at. That's quite good, but hey, I say that's good. That damage, man. That guy in that car, he sucks. Alright, well, that's a short video. I wanted to get one out just to see if there was any interest in it anymore. I can do long ones, short ones, crazy stuff, whatever. But anyway, I do hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like and take it easy, guys.